Hello everybody, my name is Cliff and I'm going to show you guys today how to import the data you downloaded from GNPS Molecular Networking into Cytoscape. So, again to briefly recap, the last video, um, processing your data through Molecular Networking in GNPS, you're going to look, you should get to <clears throat> this web page. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to group by spectrum spec nets and then download your information which will give you this file. This file contains all the different files needed to import your data that has been processed into Cytoscape. Okay, So what you're going to want to do is open up Cytoscape and you're going to want to import your data. So you import your network from table and what you're going to do is you're going to select from the desktop, this is the file, you're going to want to select network edges. So I'm going to select network edges self loop but you can also select network edges and you'll I'll highlight the differences with when we visualize our network. So select self loop and what you want to do is source interaction column one, target interaction column two, and you want to highlight column five. I like to call this cosine score. We're going to import. So now our network has been uploaded into Cytoscape. And now what we can do is we can import our attributes or the grouping information by importing cluster info summary groups with IDs. Attributes and IDs. So we import this what we're going to want to do is we go to show highlight this show text import file options and we're going to transfer the first line of our attributes from import row 1 and we're going to import okay so now we imported our data from these files and we also imported the grouping or categorizing of that data. So we want to now visualize this in a better format so we can go to layouts and you should in your Cytoscape, you should have a bunch of different layouts. And if you don't have FM3 layout, which I'm going to select right now, you can do spring embedded, but I prefer FM3 layout. This can be obtained through Google searching or through a surf search engine. Um, search as a different plugin. So you can say Cytoscape Visualization Plugins. So based upon your data size, it may take a little bit of time to visualize it, but this is basically what your network will look like. And then now to kind of make things a little bit nicer, we're going to go to um, right-click on this. And we're going to change our background color to white and apply and we're going to do through the viz mapper tab you can cycle through these with the viz mapper we're going to have our node label as parent mass which can be changed to other things so now to navigate around we see that the nodes which represent a particular ion detected through mass spectrometry is labeled based upon its parent MS1 or parent mass. So going back to our uh, VizMapper, now what we can do is we can have our sample edge line width, double click on that. We're going to 
use the cosine score as a way to continuously map edge lengths I mean excuse me edge widths in regards to their relationship within the molecular space so thicker lines represent um, more relationship between two particular ions or nodes whereas thinner lines represent lesser relationship these edges can then be labeled also with edge label and the edge label can be your cosine score which you want to have pass through and now we can actually see numerically what is the relationship between these nodes with one being an identical match and it should be an overlapping node whereas um, a lesser score is going to represent smaller relationships in terms of their fragmentation. So this is kind of the basic setup for how to visualize your molecular network within Cytoscape. What you can now do is the only the only difference right now between what I told you earlier between self loop and non self loop is that these particular nodes have no relationships in anything other in any other data samples or data points besides themselves so if you don't want to see these um, self looping nodes then you're going to select um, when you import your table you're going to select network edges instead of ed network edges self loop and that will remove these self loops from the network and then you can begin to use the network if you have a particular um, grouping or treatment you want to closely identify and look at relationships so in this case um, let's say that group 3 within my categorization of my data is something of interest to me so I'm going to go to node color double click on it I'm going to say I'm going to look for all groups and go to discrete and then this should give me excuse me default groups discrete mapping and now this is going to give me the ability to look at all the different types of nodes in a particular category so I said I'm very interested in group 3 which will be the interface between healthy coral and algae encroachment and I'm going to label this this bright blue and now the nodes within this category or the detectable nodes are highlighted in blue so now I can quickly start to pick out and look for a particular data points that are unique to the interface between healthy coral and invasive algae and I can begin to mine the molecular network through that or say if these group 3 are actually my standards and now I can quickly identify a standard that I know the identity and see what molecules are related to these known standards so this is how you begin to mine molecular network and visualize your data hope this was helpful I recommend looking at the documentation to see different ways to manipulate visualization of your molecular network in Cytoscape. Mahalo.